Hello, George. Uh, thank you for uh, taking the time to do this. Um, been a while. Maybe you can update us. Uh, I guess you had some sort of knee procedure done in the off season, so maybe you could just update us on that and, and how you're doing. Yeah, I had a, um, uh, a scope on my knee um, right right the end of the season. I'm doing well. I'm just working out, rehabbing every day, so I'm getting over that thing pretty good. Do you do you anticipate being ready for training camp? Yeah, most definitely be ready for training camp this year. So, again, I'm training camp. George, this is kind of a, a random question. I don't know how involved uh, you would be specifically in these talks, but have you and the Jets discussed um, a contract extension or anything like that? And you know, to kind of just kind of, I, I know coaching staff loves you and things like that. Um. Yeah, we we we've, we've talked. Um, we, we definitely have had some conversations about it. I know my agency and and um, and the in the uh, you know the Jets have had conversations about it. Um, you know, I'm not obviously not Russian, so. Uh, you know, when it happens, when it's got assignment for it to happen, it, it'll happen. Um, but, you know, right now, I'm just focusing on my rehab, uh, getting to know the new guys in the room, in the locker room and stuff. Um, and I just you know, become a better leader every day, um, better football player. Hey George, this franchise is not one in a long time. Uh, I'm just kind of curious how cognizant of that you are and what your anticipation for how this team maybe can improve with all these high draft picks coming up in the next couple of days. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, I'm very aware of that. Um, and, and honestly, you know, I, I want to be, I, I, I want to be a part of that. I have to be a part of that. I want to, I want to be here the rest of my career um, and, and become uh, one of the staples of this, of this uh, program as far as winning goes. Um, and I know that's what they expect out of the draft picks that they're going to have coming up tomorrow. Uh, in the next couple of days. Uh, so, you know, uh, we, we got to find a way to turn this thing around. I think we got the staff to do it. Uh, we got the players. We're going to ask some more this week. Um, and I, I know for, from my standpoint, I'm doing everything in my power to make sure we do that. So, George, when, when we spoke to uh, Sala, I guess it was way back at the senior bowl, you know, he, he publicly declared that, uh, you know, left tackle is an open competition between you and Makai. And I'm sure you, I'm sure you've heard this many times um, because they really liked the way you played last year. So he felt it was fair to make it open. What was your reaction to that? Yeah. Yeah. We, we had a conversation about it. Um, you know, definitely appreciate it. Um, you know, anytime you, you get a uh, you know the head coach and, and the front office and just the building in general um, you know compliment you on on, the, on you know all the hard work and everything you've been through to uh, you know show showcase your abilities um, you know it's always a great great thing uh, so definitely appreciate it um, and, and you know all I can do for now is just continue to work on my game and continue to do what I can do to you know to grow and uh, become a better player for the team. George, how often, if if at all, do you talk to Makai and have you spoken to him this off season? And, and kind of where do you feel like he's at right now, coming off the injury and and you know losing weight and whatnot? Yeah, now we talk every now and then, just as far as like social media and stuff like that. I know you guys probably see, um, but you know I haven't uh, really had to got on a, jumped on a phone call or anything with him uh, here recently. But uh, you know he's going, he, you know he's down in um, Texas training. Uh, I know you know Duke's a, a really good trainer and stuff they're doing there is really good. Uh, and also, you know, he's having his baby, man. So, uh, you know, definitely giving him space, let him do his thing. Uh, but you know, I haven't really had a you know a chance to get on the phone with him. So, George, what do you think the addition of uh, Lakin Tomlinson can mean for your line? Honestly, you know, look on paper, man, that that, that, that line looks legit. Uh, you know, all the way across. So, um, you know, if you, you watch the film, you guys know what Lakin's about. Uh, really good player. Uh, great in the run, great in the pass, good dude. Um, so, man, looking forward to having him on line with us. George, I know you've bounced between left and right in your career. Um, it seemed like you kind of found a rhythm over there once you started playing left for a while. Would it be tough for you if 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 you're, you're again, you know, if training camp is a, is a quote-unquote competition and then you might have to move to right for the season, would you rather just have, you know, one spot from the, from the beginning here and, and going through the season? No, obviously I would like to, you know, have a spot and stick with it. You know, I, I feel like I'm a natural left tackle. Um, 
And, you know, obviously I know you guys, you know, from what you watch from right tackle to left tackle, and everybody kind of notices I'm a natural left tackle. Uh, so, you know, just had to do everything in my power. Um, and, you know, I can control everything. I can just control what I can control. Uh, my work ethic, um, you know, staying in tune with everything and making sure I can do everything I can do. Uh, so that's all I can really worry about. But, you know, um, but that's that's my kind of stance on that. So. George, we're on the eve of the draft and there's always so much speculation, you know, swirling around. Part of it is that the Jets might draft a, a, an offensive tackle with the fourth pick. If they do, what would your reaction be? I mean, I wouldn't have any. Um, I control what I can control. You know, that's not my job to to worry about who they draft or anything like that. My job is to, you know, like I said earlier, become a better football player every offseason, every day, um, become a better leader uh, and just do what I could do to help this team win. But it sounds like you think the, this, the current five as, as currently constituted, you feel this offensive line is good enough to win. Oh, most definitely. Most definitely. Yeah. You know, I think, you know, uh, you know, there, there were some things, obviously we showed a lot of good things. Um, and, you know, uh, obviously there's some things to work on, um, getting back back. Uh, you know, it's, it's definitely going to be, I think this line is, is really built for, for what we're trying to do here to win. So. Have you seen a difference in, in Zach Wilson from the, the interaction you've had with him here? Uh, most definitely I have, man. My guy came back with a little more swag. He ready to go, man. So, uh, man, you know, but yeah, he, he's had a good offseason so far, you know, from, from the conversations we had, man. And uh, I'm excited to see, you know, what he's been working on this whole offseason. Uh, I know he's been connecting with a lot of receivers and stuff and uh, staying in touch with the offensive line and all the rest of the stuff, everything he should be doing, man. So, uh, you know, definitely – Happy to see him back in the building. Um, excited for him this next offseason, this next season coming up. So yeah, he definitely came back with a, with a little something different. Are there any more questions for George? Thank you very much, George. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. This concludes today's availability.